Hey guys, Sebastian here. Today I have a Sniper Bladeworks Mini LPC. I got this knife on the Blade 2012. And it came with the orange set of scales. Orange scale, actually. No set. Which I did like. Because black and orange look pretty cool. All black with the orange scales. I did not like the shiny, but I didn't have too much options to choose, so I really wanted to have a sniper blade works, and I did get it. After that, I wasn't even sure that I'm gonna keep it, but I did wanted to experience this knife. I showed it off to Jeff, and he insisted to make me a scale. He really did not like those, and I agree with that. He made this black peel line with the half enzo, he call it sebenzo pan. this knife looks beautiful with it let's go through some specs the knife is 7.9 inches overall and 3.8 inch blade the cutting length is much much less actually the cutting length is I know exactly but it's I believe it's around three inches. I'm gonna compare this knife to paramilitary too, just to get an idea. Like it's a little smaller, just a tiny bit. Like you see the cutting length on this knife is way less. The materials used in these knives are 1095 carbon steel, titanium frame lock, titanium pocket clip, and the G10 scale. The knife is extremely smooth. Centering is great, perfect. Lock up is around fifty percent. I do carry this knife time to time. It's a great little knife. The best thing on this knife for me is like I like how it's closed, it's curved and it's no hot spots anywhere to catch as anything rides really nice in the pocket and the air goes of this handle are just amazing like it's it does look weird like a knife but when you actually handle this knife and you try to hold it in the grip then the choke up version you really feel like you have a great grip like these guys who made these knives they are like a bunch of ex cops military SWAT team whatever they are and they put a lot of totes to make a great tactical knife and it's supposed to be this LPC grade for trusting and snap cuts what I can actually see in this knife especially for the snap cuts You really need to handle one of these so you can understand what I'm talking about. The blade is grind very thick, like this end of it's like extremely thick, which makes it extremely strong for trusting. I don't think you're gonna break this tip or prying and everything is possible to do with this knife. But for me, like everyday carry, I don't really planning to pry with this knife or you know do anything for the everyday tasks like everyday carry, like a like a knife. It's perfect. This grind on it, it's, for me, it's just not enough slicing. Like like you wouldn't be able to 
cut the apple without breaking it, like it's so thick. But actually, great for the knife. Nothing wrong with the knife, it's, it's perfect, it's meant for, for those things. This knife didn't meant to slice the apple. So, just something to think about it. And the other thing what I would change is the thumb stud. It's only right hand side, right hand, and like a tactical knife, up be very nice to have on the left side too. Give me this black coating on it. Do the flaming patterns in it. It's pretty cool. I don't know if my camera does the justice, but I do have a little spots on it, make it look even better. I do put this pocket time to time, and it rides very nice in the pocket. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. And my thoughts actually on the knife. And take care.